Simon Colosimo scores and puts Sydney 1-0 up in the penalty shootout. Good penalty. Very good penalty. Placement, playing it goes the wrong way. That's a great start for Sydney FC, nice and confident. Doesn't try to blast it, just placing that. That's it right into the corner. Well, no prizes for guessing who's up first for Melbourne victory. Kevin Muskets, who rarely, if ever, misses from the penalty spot. Scored famously from the spot for Australia against Uruguay. World Cup qualifier 2001. He is the master of psychology from 11 metres. Can he fool Clint Bolton? Would you believe it? The professor of the penalty kick has missed in the grand final. That's got to be a big omen for Sydney. The Melbourne fans can't believe it. Well, he he never of, misses. He sort of stabbed at it, didn't he? But he sends the keeper the wrong way. And it's flush onto the post. Unbelievable. I actually was thinking, why was he taking the first one? Maybe to get them off to a good start. He's the main penalty taker. You see there as he hits it, he sort of skips after it. He wasn't completely confident. And the Sydney bench delighted. Advantage Sydney. Shannon Cole can increase that. from the young Melbourne stopper. I was about to say that. What a great save to Langer. Right, he picks the right way. But still, there's not a lot wrong with Shannon Cole's penalty. You could argue it's at a decent height for a goalkeeper, but he dives full stretch. He's hit it with some venom. That is a wonderful save. World-class save in a big moment, in a big match from Langerak. Sydney fans can't believe it. Sydney still lead, though. 1-0. After three penalties taken, Grant Brebner up next for Melbourne. Call as you like, the Scotsman. 1-1. Yeah, had an outstanding game, Grant Brebner. Carries that on to the penalties. Nice and confident, never looked like he was going to miss. Bolton the wrong way. But Kevin Musket, the most relieved man when Langerak saved the last one, but that's a very good pen. Picks his spot, nice and confident, puts it away. Sydney's next taker is the veteran, Hayden Fox. Well, a few months ago, he didn't think he'd be involved in a moment as big as this, but here he is. And he puts Sydney FC back in front at 2-1. Well, sometimes you say it's just safe. I mean, it's not the greatest looking penalty, it's straight down the middle. But given that the goalkeeper's always going to go one way or the other, he's just drilled it straight down the middle. A little bit lucky, because if he left his legs there, Langerak, was at a good height to maybe sweep it away. But Fox, Hayden Fox won't care. It's in the back of the net. Mark Bosnich is just beside me, saying he should have maybe kept his foot up a little bit in the air. Mind you. It's always a keeper's mistake. Now, Marvin Angulo is up next. He's played in finals football before back in Costa Rica. His uh, former club sides lost out to Deportivo Saprissa back in 2007 in finals football. Big responsibility on the Costa Rican. And it's a great stop by Clint Bolton away to his left. Sydney really had the advantage now. Well, that's the one that you say, that's at a perfect height for a goalkeeper. If he guesses the right way, you saw the camera on his face there. He didn't look confident. He was puffing out his cheeks, licking his lips. He doesn't hit this with any conviction, any confidence at all on Gulo. Clint Bolton, credit him. He goes the right way, but it's quite a simple save in the end. Well, a hush descends upon Etihad Stadium. 
Because Carol Kissel can really drive home the advantage for Sydney here. Scored against Melbourne from the spot in the major semi final. This for 3 1. It is 3 1 for Sydney. It's a great pin. They're inching ever closer to the championship. That's no, a great penalty from Kissel. With that height, they're not going to save it. Practically goes into the roof of the net. Straight down the middle. And that means that Melbourne Victory have to score this penalty to stay in the contest. It's Lee Broxham had a very, very good match. The Melbourne Victory midfielder. Big responsibility. He has to score. Otherwise, it's Sydney's title. He does score. Huge responsibility. Good pen. He's uh, not sure about his run-up. It was a bit of a hop, skip and a jump up to it, but he hit it with confidence. He's obviously made up his mind. Bolton goes the other way. There's a hop, skip. That's in the back of the net. Nicely into the corner. And this is the one now. Yep, it's still very much advantage, Sydney. If Bjorn, who's never scored for Sydney in normal play, tucks this away, the championship is heading to the Harbour City. They can barely watch. 48,000 people holding their breath. It's all on Bjorn and all on Langerak for Melbourne victory. Bjorn scores! Sydney FC are the champions! The Sky Blues denying Melbourne back-to-back -back titles to secure their first championship in four years. Vitoslav Lovitska wins the double in his first season in Australia. And it is the first time an away club has won the grand final, plus a first Sydney success in a grand final against a Melbourne team. The golden toilet seat has a sky blue hue once more. Sydney FC, the champions, the full-time scoreline. Melbourne victory won, Sydney FC won. But it's the sky blues who take the trophy on penalty kicks by four goals to two.